the Winkle, and today we're making a jumping jump joey. joey. Ella, you love jumping and you love jump rope. Yes. And so much that I have always called you my little monkey girl because you're just <laughs> jumping around and climbing on things. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, today we are going to make a Jumpin' Joey, and you could really call it anything you want, but it is a little guy that jumped with a jump rope. <laughs> yes, it's not gonna be so fun. Yes. So today we're gonna make a Jumpin' Joey. Basically, it's gonna be a little guy that jumps rope. That's cute. It's gonna be so cute. Should we see what's in our kit? Yes. Okay. Paper stencil, cardboard tube, pool noodle, two golf tees, some stickers, a straw, a pop ball, and some wire. I think this is gonna be your favorite project yet, Ella. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Top of everything in your kit, you'll just need a pointy pencil, and then we're ready to get started. Yay! Okay, Ella, this science engineering project is all about a pivot point. A pivot point is a central point on which something balances or turns. So in this project, for instance, what is pivoting? The jump rope, right? Mm -hmm. and the pivot point would be right here. That's where everything is balancing and rotating, right there. Mm -hmm. Do you see that right there? Yeah. The most important thing in this system is the pivot point. If that's not right, the whole thing's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. And the golf tees that we added right here, that gives weight to our Jumpin' Joey so that if it flips over, there we go. <laughs> if she flips over like that, the golf tees actually give some weight so that it'll flip back the right way. Cool. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna start by getting out our stencil. Just lay it out in front of you. Now the stencil is showing us what to do with this wire. So straighten out the wire the best that you can. Good. Do you see where it says start here? There's a little hook right there. And that is going to be this hook right here. Do you see that? Uh-huh. Okay, so the best way to get this hook is to just pinch the wire between your pencil and your thumb and just bend it over. You can do this. You might think you're not strong enough, but you really are. You've just got to hold that wire tight to the pencil and bend it over. You might even be able to pinch it closed a little bit. Good job! And then if you can pinch it closed, nice. You don't want to close it all the way, but you just want to pinch it a little bit tight. Like that? That is so good. Great job. Okay, so with the stencil, we want to line our wire up and it's really pliable. Pliable means we can bend it really easily, okay? Every part of your wire, you want to make sure it lines up with the stencil. Curve it. And right here is a right angle. See how it has that sharp point, just like the side of a, the, the corner of a square or something like that? That's called a right angle. So we want to make sure to get an exact right angle. The sharper the angle, the better this is going to jump. So I'm going to fold it all the way to get like a good crisp angle and then fold it back. See how that gives me a nice sharp corner right there? So yours is a little bit big. And the problem with that is that your Jumpin' Joey jump rope is going to drag on the ground. So we need to make it as close to that stencil as possible, which is fine. You can just straighten your wire back out if you make a mistake. It's very pliable, very bendable, and see how that's better now, and then make your corner right there. So right where it says the corner, bend it. And then I just bent mine a little bit more to give a real sharp corner and then bend it back. And see, that makes a really good right angle. Mm -hmm. See how it's going to hook onto there nicely? Uh -huh. Good. We don't want to hook it yet though. We have our wire, the hoop, and the right angle, and then just a straight line right here. We're going to pause with our stencil and grab our pool noodle and pencil. Pause with the pencil, grab the pool noodle and the stencil. <laughs> our Jumpin' Joey, actually, you think that the wire is going to go through the middle, but it actually has to go up here in the top part. So it's gonna go through that hole in the middle of the pool noodle, wiggle your pencil through, but see how I'm in the more of the top part of the pool noodle? Yeah, and if you make a mistake on this part, you can always poke a new hole, so it's not a big deal. Put your pencil all the way through by jiggling it because we're going to be putting that straw through there and we need a nice clean hole to put the straw through. You kind of want it, it doesn't have to be exactly in the middle this way, but you kind of want it close to the middle so that it, will, so it stays balanced. 
Okay, and then you're going to wiggle your straw through there, just like that. If you lost track of your hole, you can go in through the other side and poke it so that your straw can get through. Oh, found it. Good. Okay, now we're going to thread the straw onto our wire like this. Good. And if you need to trim your straw, you might have to take it off and give it just a little snip. So I'm gonna thread it back on fits perfectly. I'm gonna kind of turn my hook just a little bit so that my wire can go and hook onto that. And then every once in a while, I just keep lining it up with my stencil to make sure I still have it in the right spot. Looks good. And you wanna make sure it's flat. See how yours has kind of got this angle going on now? Mm -hmm. Just flatten it back out. All right, see what's coming up next in our stencil? We're gonna bend it. What kind of angle? A right angle. That's like what's on a square. So we're going to put our thumb here and bend it on our thumb and then stretch it back out so that it follows the stencil line. But look how close it is to that hook right there. It's very close. If yours isn't that close, you need to straighten your wire out and try again. Next up, another right angle, bending the other direction. And look how small of a line that is. Kind of put your finger there so you know, line it up on the stencil. Put your finger there so you kind of know about where you need to bend it. It's not a lot of space right there. Good, I'm gonna bend it back farther. Oh, I did it! Yes, that's perfect. I'm bending mine back farther than it needs to go and then straightening it back out and that makes a nice crisp right angle. Now we're going to leave our wire alone and we're going to poke holes in our cardboard tube. Okay, my hole is about half an inch down from the top of the tube. If you wanna know what a half an inch is, it's probably as big as, as your pinky nail. So if you line up your pinky nail, that's where your hole should be, right there and you're gonna poke it through with your pencil. If you're having a hard time poking your hole, I also gave you a push pin, so you can poke the hole with your push pin first. That already gives you a hole to push your pencil through. Now you don't wanna push your pencil all the way through, you just wanna push it enough to make room for that wire. We wanna go the opposite side. So got our hole on this side, and I see how much I put my pencil through. I didn't go all the way, and then I did a hole on the other side exactly opposite. Now we're going to poke our wire through the hole. Oh my goodness, that's gonna look so great. We're almost done. Okay, we're gonna line it up with our stencil, and see how our stencil gives just enough room for that cardboard tube. Then we have to bend at a right angle upwards, and I'm again gonna try and get a, the best angle that I can, the sharpest angle, okay? And then I'm going to bend it back the other way, again with that right angle, going extending farther than I need to go and then coming back up. And then we're done. Let's see, did you finish it? Yes. Good. Mm. Our Jumpin' Joey isn't doing very much right now, is it? No. No, and that is because we haven't put on its legs. You might have thought the legs were just for fun, but the golf tees actually give the little guy weight on the bottom and combining that with gravity is just gonna make the guy be able to jump on the jump rope the right way. So you can stick these legs in, just poke them in. Good, and then you might need to adjust it if the legs are hitting your jump rope, then you're need, you need to push them in a little bit more and then you're going to poke your puff ball in there. That'll make a nice little nose for your guy. And I'm gonna put a little face on mine, little eyeball stickers. I'm gonna be a little lady. A little lady, jump the rope. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> it looks like a clown. Yeah, you know what? You could even do one on the other side too if you want, even though you don't have another puff ball. Why not? Good, and now you have Jumpin' Joey! Jumpin' Joey! Okay, the reason this is working, remember, is because of the pivot point. And as long as that's balanced, it'll work perfectly. Now there are some parts of this, if you're at home and you're a little bit frustrated because yours isn't working, I'll walk you through a few points of why it may not be working not be working is if this straw, this hole right here, is too much in the middle of your noodle 
or even down at the bottom. That's not gonna give enough weight at the bottom and it's gonna make it so your person doesn't turn as much. So if you need to undo everything, you can. Mistakes are okay, right? And put your pencil through the top part of your Jumpin' Joey's head. That will make it jump a little bit better. Another thing that might not be working is if your right angles aren't right enough. If they're not straight enough, that's gonna make it hard for this Jumpin' Joey to balance. Another thing, it might be the jump rope. If you need to widen it or squeeze it tighter together so that it doesn't hit your table or it doesn't hit those golf tees, that might be a problem. Yes, so we wanna make sure we follow those instructions very nicely. And you guys, this is your science project. This is your engineering project. So figure it out. Don't give up because there's always gonna be a reason why it might not be working. So if it's not working for you, watch the video again, go through the instructions and make sure you've done everything that's in the instructions and keep working with it. Keep trying to adjust it and make sure that everything's balancing so that everything can work properly. If yours is working, then congratulations, you did it. Did you have fun making our Jumpin' Joey today? Yes. I had so much fun with you, Ella. You did a great job. <laughs> this was really good. Well, mine is a Jumpin' Joe's. Jumpin' yeah. Josie, of course. Josie's our older sister, but don't tell her we're naming this project after her. <laughs> we wanna see what you guys made. If you have a grown-up take a picture or video of you and have them post it on social media, tag us at the Winkle Crate. That way we can see it and everyone can see what you made and how it turned out. It's gonna be so fun! So fun! Bye, everybody! Bye! Have fun! I hope you have fun with it today. See ya! Woohoo!